of really fast, thin water and then slower water. And the cool thing is if you put your finger in and touch the bottom where it's moving fast, you feel the water splash up onto your hand. But if you do it in the subcritical flow, it doesn't. It just sort of sits there around your finger. That's so each type of flow behaves totally differently. So um, here is a video of a supercritic of a hydraulic jump that some engineering students have going. And see, they just have a thing that keeps the water level high. And so you can see the water coming in fast and doing the hydraulic jump. Notice there's a lot of turbulence here where that's happening. All right. Does everybody see that one? And then um, here is uh, where they're actually using some, some other uh, folks are actually using one. Uh, to make surfing. So here's water coming in and jumping up to make a, a surf wave. You see another one in the background. So you can see how big it is. There's one that's three feet high. All surf is a hydraulic jump. Surf on beaches is where you have a hydraulic jump as water coming in from the ocean uh, basically gets thin enough and has enough drag under it that it does a hydraulic jump to uh, and that's what that's what surface there's your sink We will go into the engineering of surf. Hmm. Uh, any questions on those videos? Most mountain streams uh, have uh, hydraulic jumps too. Here's, uh, I just found something showing rapids. So here's water coming in on supercritical flow, and there is the hydraulic jump. That's the rapids. Have you, how many of you guys have ever done a river on, on a raft? few of you. You do a rapids, you know, you're cruising along and you go, Wah! and you go through this nice smooth thing down and then you hit the bottom and you go, Kapoosh. well, that kapoosh is the hydraulic jump. And you can see one here. And in fact, often after you go over a big rock, you'll have a whole series of what are horsetails where the water goes up, makes a big wave, and then slides down again, goes up, makes another big wave. Each one of those waves is a hydraulic jump where the water is going from supercritical to subcritical. Then it slides smoothly back down to supercritical, then jumps again to make another horsetail, and it just oscillates back and forth between supercritical and subcritical. Okay, questions? All right, here I'll just show you this because it's kind of cool. So you can see. Each one of those places where there's foam and where the water is like breaking upstream is a hydraulic jump. Okay, so push, there's a one. So as they go over, another one. Oops, now they're in trouble. <laughs> no, they're, they're probably doing that intentionally to stay away from the big rock in the middle. Smooth water and they're being boring. <laughs> That's the elder statesman tour. Dr. Mike, a quick question. Yeah. Um, are papers, uh, they going to uh, cover anything else? Uh, or no? Do you think you're going to get them back? What, what papers? Oh, labs. No, uh, Kyle did not get them back. I will uh, have them, hopefully, have them finish sometime today. And uh, I was hoping he'd be here today so I could get him to get him finished. Uh, he ran into problems grading. Uh, so what I'll do is I will leave them, your, your graded papers, up in your lab. Uh, and you guys can come pick them up anytime. Yeah, I'm going to be in lab all day. Because I don't want you to have to wait till Wednesday. I'm going to be in lab all day. 
I expect it'll be sometime this afternoon, okay. mid afternoon or something. Depends on how much. He said he had trouble um, with uh, that. He was having trouble deciding which graphs were right and which were wrong. And so I told him I would show him as soon as we finished class today. Graph? Yeah, your yeah. your your line graph. Does he need the Excel yeah, program? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> the okay, probability does plotting. Have any questions with uh, on uh, the five critical, samples? You realize that they're both key points in understanding 